Hi everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about evolution of aerosols. In this evolution of aerosols, there are four types: flammability and combustibility, physicochemical characteristics, performance, and biological characteristics. In today's session, we discuss about first two things: that is, flammability and combustibility, and physicochemical characteristics. So let us discuss first one: flammability and combustibility. In this flammability and combustibility, there are two tests are there. First one, flash point, and second, flame extinction. Including flashback. Or flame projection. Flame projection. Okay, let us discuss flash point. Okay, this flash point is determined by using standard tag open cut apparatus. In this, the aerosol product is chilled up to the aerosol product is chilled up to minus twenty five degrees Fahrenheit, and This aerosol product is transferred to this apparatus, open cut standard uh, tag open cut apparatus, and this test liquid is allowed to increase slowly the temperature. Is increased slowly the test liquid, the aerosol liquid is chilled up to minus twenty five degrees Fahrenheit, and it the uh, uh, the test liquid uh, we have to increase the temperature of the test liquid slowly. The temperature at which that vapor ignites, when the temperature at which the vapor ignites, that point is called as a flash point, and it is used for most flammable components, uh, topical pharmaceuticals. In this, we have to use uh, hydrocarbon propellants. is about flash point next coming to flame uh, flame extinction flashback or flame projection in this the effect of aerosol formulation is the extinction of aerosol formulation or name extinction of aerosol formulation on an open flame in this the aerosol aerosol product is uh, sprayed for about 4 seconds the aerosol product is sprayed for about 4 seconds into a flame we have to spray the aerosol product for about 4 seconds into a flame depending on the nature of the formulation the flame is extended depending on the nature of the formulation the flame is extended in that Uh, the exact length of the uh, extension can be measured by with the help of a uh, ruler or a scale by this we have to determine the extension of that uh, uh, aerosol product into a flame so okay, this is about flammability and combustibility Second one is physical chemical characteristics. In this physical chemical characteristics, first one is vapor pressure. In this vapor pressure is determined by using pressure gauge. or else any other test gauges or special equipment in this we have to determine the pressure uh, pressure variations from container to container if this excess variations we have to determine the pressure variation from container to container if the excess variations the excess pressure variations is due to the presence of 
the excess pressure variation is due to the presence of air in the head space there is a one more device that is puncturing device this puncturing device is used to measure the vapor pressure and next second one is density this density is determined by hydrometer or pycnometer in this there is a pressure tube this pressure tube is fitted with metal flanges this pressure tube is fitted with metal flanges and a hook wall this hook wall is allowed to introduce the liquids under pressure and we have to place the a hydrometer is placed in this pressure tube there is a pressure tube it is fitted with a metal flanges and a hook wall this hook wall is used to introduce the uh, uh, test liquids liquids under pressure in this a sample a sufficient sample is introduced into this hook wall sufficient sample is introduced into hook wall and this this hydrometer to cause a rise in half way a rise half way up the length okay the hydrometer readings a rise in half way in the length of the tube that rise in length uh, is determined the directly it gives the density values the readings in the hydrometer uh, that will give the determine the density of an aerosol product is determined next one is moisture content this moisture content is determined by carl fisher method and gas chromatography moisture content of aerosol product is determined by using uh, uh, carl fisher method or gas chromatography next next one is identification of a propellant identification of a propellant it is determined by using gcms gas chromatography and aria spectrophotometry infrared rays spectrophotometry by using gas and uh, ir spectrophotometry we have to identify the uh, propellants in an aerosol product and this also indicates the proportion of each component in a blend each component in a blend identification of propellant is determined by gas chromatography and ir spectrophotometry and by that we have to determine the uh, propellants and also the proportion of each component in a uh, blend also determined this is about the physico chemical characteristics those are vapor pressure density moisture content and identification of propellants Okay, this is about the flammability and physicochemical characteristics uh, of evolution of aerosols.